Mona? Yeah. Your car is waiting. My car. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on. Did you bring the money? Yes, I have it right here. But first I want to see him. Certainly. I can't see who it is with that mask on. You want to take him off? Okay. After I see the dough. Money's there, all right. Now you take his mask off. No. Don't you come any closer. You keep away. No, you can't have this until I've seen his face. <laughs> 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 You may see him. Didn't have to break my glasses. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, take it off. Ah! 
I would rather have gone to Las Vegas for my vacation. I would have stayed for Disney World. So, so why Kuala Lumpur, Bill? The firm couldn't afford Vegas, not with you two. Stop whining, this is fun city, you'll see. Is this where they have the Kuala Bears? Oh God, I'm in trouble already. Sure's had in this place. Have you arranged the limousine for us? Mm-mm. Well, what did you do, Mr. Carr? Mm-mm. Supposed to walk? Mm -hmm. Bill, you don't mean we have to stand in that line for a cab? Oh, Bill, what a way to begin a vacation. Taxi! <laughs> I taxi driver. You foreigners, I can tell. You come for holiday. Where you want to go? The Continental Hotel. Ah! <laughs> Continental! <laughs> hey, Buster, where's your taxi? That taxi! <laughs> A1 condition! <laughs> you think we should go with any lane? Well, why not? <laughs> we can't go in that. <laughs> it is said, don't judge car by uncleaning cover. Everything is modern. Ah, air conditioning. Power windows. Ah. Automatic lock. <laughs> Come, you see. Get in, please. <laughs> Come on. There. Ah. <laughs> what a dress. Great air conditioning. Would you turn on the air conditioning? We're dying here. Air conditioning. <laughs> roll down front window. Now you roll down back window and we got hair conditioning. What? Elaine, <laughs> forget it. Open the window. It's hot enough in here. Wait, what about the power windows? Power windows? <laughs> Man, power! Why, you didn't know it, <laughs> Step on the gas and let's move it. Yes, sir! Ah! Pretty good. You really know how to handle a wheel. What'd you learn? <laughs> ah, this is nothing. When I was driving regular taxi, I used to race all the time. And one day, I raced this guy. He go real fast. But I won. <laughs> Only it turned out that this guy is... Of, some, of the law, and he takes his license away. Uh-huh, so you're driving without a license. Uh-huh. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Taxi drivers move over to the side when his car comes. It is out of respect. <laughs> Why, Lucas? He? he number one good. He be the king, the big philanthropist. That's who. Huh. But I don't care who he is. I want you to catch up with him. Go ahead. Ah, uh -huh, no can do. Go ahead. Do what the lady asks you. Nah. Yeah, come on, Captain. I want to see what he looks like. No can do. <laughs> Here, will you do it now? Ha! Huh. Well, yeah. fetch oh. Hey! What do you do that for? Wait, mine like that. Come back. Hey, where are you going? Hey, that's my taxi. You can't do that.
What is it that you want? What do I want? To pass that car. That's Mr. King's car. It's to be respected. Who's Mr. King? Never heard of the guy. Let me take a look. Okay? Neither is yours, Peter. You finished playing? <laughs> <laughs> How about that? We had you going, didn't we? <laughs> yes, you did. I admit it. <laughs> we used to do that trick in college. Used to fool the chicks all the time. Aren't you going to introduce us? <laughs> Sorry. Peter King, this is Elaine. Hello. Hello. And Mona. Hello. Hello. Well, now, you're my guests. And no arguments. You'll stay at my house. Well, who's arguing? <laughs> I've got work to take care of at the office, so one of the cars will take you to the house. Okay. Ladies. Welcome to House of King. This way, please. Oh. Take the ladies to their rooms. She will show you the way. Thank you. Mr. Paul, this way, please. Right. Anything you wish, do not hesitate to ask. Thanks. Yeah? It's Peter, old buddy. I've decided tonight hmm. you stag night. Women stay home. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> and guess who's in town? Marco. Remember what they used to call us? The Three Musketeers. Right. It'll be like old times. See you later. Okay. Later. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Wait. Yeah. What do you want? Seems like you could use some help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. There's only a dozen or so. Is 
that on. Yeah. Get about 20 seconds. You're right. What's going on? No! I don't fight women. If you know. Hey, what are you guys doing? You don't fight women. Are you nuts? Take a look at the men, you idiot. Men? And you didn't tell me? You never asked. Those women are men? <laughs> You're really terrific. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, got news for you. She's a man, too. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about her? Some friend you are. Oh, Bill. <laughs> I thought you liked her. Huh? Yeah, well, I didn't know she was a guy. Oh, hey, you remember that song we used to sing? Mm. You remember? We used to sing it at every yeah, time, remember? Yeah. Well, let's sing it. All right. One, <laughs> two, one, two, three. Oh, Mr. Donald had a party. E-I-E-I-O. Hey, come on, I thought I you knew the words. I oh, forgot. Oh, Donald had a party. <laughs> what? How could you forget the words? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he can't take it. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm working for the CIA. I got Peter under surveillance. You do? Why? What's he done? He's starting a... <laughs> That's better. Whoa, you're out of condition. You used to drink twice as much. I did? All right, let's sing. Let's go right to the ending, huh? Right. The big finish. Yeah. Let's yes. do it! And I just finally had a car. E I E I O. With a crash, crash here, crash there. there. Little sleep, big sleep. Honk, ding, 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 dong, 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 dong. Cha, cha, cha. Hey. He's through. What was that you said? I'm here to keep an eye on Peter. Keep it quiet. Oh, okay. Hey. Hey, you're not going to talk out in this now, are you? Of course not. You ready for another song? Okay, what'll we sing now? Yeah. Well, go ahead. I'm an old cow hand right, from the Rio Grande. Right. Right. And my legs ain't bowed, and my legs ain't tanned. I'm a cowboy who never saw a cow, never rode the steer, because I don't know how. And her rate's fixing to start in now. Peter, what would you like to do today? What do you have in mind? Well, I thought the Tour Deluxe. Look, my helicopter will pick you up in a half an hour and bring you straight to me. How does that sound so far? It sounds wonderful. Good. Now get that sleepyhead Bill out of bed and let's get the show on the road. I'm on my way, honey. <laughs> Expecting a heavy shipment. Get on it. <laughs> this way. Isn't this great? Our own helicopter to take us around. And why not? He's got the money. <sighs> he sure has. <laughs>
That building is Mr. King. The top floor is his office. Yes, sir. I thought I'd show you how I made all this money. Mm. <laughs> hey, now get this. Parmesan, and all of it mine, kids. Palm trees, from which we make palmetic acid, palm tin, palm sugar, palm wine. That is the fruit, how we make our oil. A yellow, butter-like oil, which you'll see later. Just from the oil alone, I make my profit. The warehouse is separating plants from storage. Fans, hats, mats, thatch, sugar, wine, and of course, that magnificent oil I told you about. Even the scrap we use is fertilizer. All these storage tanks contain nothing but oil, which we ship to all over the world. We turn out around 300 tons a day. So now you know how I got rich. Wow, you impressed me, you know? Oh, and the things I can do. 20% goes to the kids, orphanages, schools, and so on. Mm. I'm really impressed. <laughs> Down here. And this is our waste plant. Absolutely nothing is lost here. The water that we obtain from the various squeezings we inject with anaerobic bacteria. They eat all the fats, and after digestion, they give off a gas. Well, this gas is used for creating electricity. So I thought, why not use it? I have constructed my own electrical powerhouse, and I have an unlimited supply source. Why, you must be Peter King. <laughs> I knew I knew that guy. <laughs> We're a sea within a country, and completely self-contained. Now, you want to stay here and talk, or do you want to go have something to eat? I'm starving. Let's go. Me too. <laughs> everything? Mm-hmm. And the ammo? Take a look. And it's brand new equipment. Open the back. We're good with those guns. Everything's like you asked. And it's all dry. Yes, I can see that. Freeze! Stand up! Now walk! Go move! Lieutenant! Prisoner! He was hiding in woods when I snuck up and got... Oh! Stay up! Oh.
your fire. I want him alive. He's getting away. You're right. <laughs> Peter, I do appreciate your spending so much time with us, though. <laughs> it is I who should be grateful, Elaine, for bringing us together. <laughs> I'd have only been looking at figures, which I must say I like, if they're the right kind. Yeah? What about last night? Hong <laughs> Kong. Yes, what is it? Major Chang here. We caught your friend Marco snooping around with the camera at the pickup point. What do you want us to do with you? Nothing. I'll take care of it. The game is questions and answers. on us. Who are you working for? Tell us. Huh? Ah! If you please, who are you working for? Meaning of this, Sergeant? How dare you? I gave you no orders to torture this poor soul. Now remove that wire. Now go, go. Oh, sir. Sorry about that. Men, you know. I understand. Good. Peter, why are you doing it? I'm a glory seeker. You always were, weren't you? And now it is time to get rid of the existing government. I shall be the new leader. Think of it, that can mean, Marco, if I were. We're on to you. The Malaysian government is on to you, and... Look, it's all over, don't you understand? The revolution ceases now. And I will do everything Stop I can right to right there. See hold that it. You're giving every I said, hold it. I had planned this revolution, and I intend to see it through. I had hoped you would join me in this great cause. Peter, I... I can't... Hey, I offered you a deal. I want you to think it over. I don't want to kill you, Marco. It's so Thank you, Peter. Not exactly. I've been thinking about the future, that's all. I've only just begun. But there are those who think I'm too ambitious. Oh, that's understandable, really. They're jealous of you. You know, it takes all kinds in this world. Those whose needs are very simple. 
And then there are those whose needs are vast. <laughs> and I belong to the last group. I'm very ambitious. I have visions that are so great, it's frightening me. I realize that everyone has a dream. The difference is that mine is real. There's nothing wrong with that. You sound so sad, and there's no reason why you should be. It's beautiful today. Why not just enjoy it? <laughs> Shall we sit down? Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Tell me, have I been boring you? Uh-uh. Not at all. I think you're very nice. Do you mean that? Hmm? Of course I do. <laughs> what I would like is that we become a real working team. I'll have dinner with you, if you like. Afternoon, sir. Afternoon. You bring the report? It's right here. Aren't you worried that Bill had mixed his official duties with his personal feelings towards Peter? No, I know him. I have total confidence. Huh. Should I get him on the hotline? Yes. Just look at those two. They go well together, don't they? Hmm. It's love and bloom. <laughs> Are you Mr. Fong, sir? Yes. Telephone call for you, sir. A phone call? This way, sir. <clears throat> Your call. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hello? Ah, there you are. Good afternoon. Good morning. How are you? Not the hat. We're on vacation, sir. Whatever you got, it can wait. Yes, I know. I know you're on your vacation. I know. Listen. It's about this Peter King fellow. What about him? Well, we have a strong suspicion that he's the honcho behind the whole sabotage movement against the local government. We need the help of the angels to stop King's operation. Marco was our man in that area, and he's disappeared. We have reason to believe our man's been caught by Peter. You have proof of this, sir? Yes, we have. Proof conclusive. Now, listen. I want you to take over this case. Carte blanche. Just keep us posted. You just hired us. Good. And good luck. <laughs> Operation Cobra, ready to attack. Prepare yourselves. Well, Bill, did you find anything? 
find anything worthwhile. Take a look at this. I never would have believed it. Peter's our enemy now. We must tell Elaine. I'll go and get her. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but I have business tonight. Oh, that's all right. I'm pretty tired anyway. See you in the morning, huh? Mm -hmm. Good night, Elaine. Good night. Elaine, we have to talk. Come here, will you? <laughs> what is it? How do you feel towards Peter? Well, you know I like him, Mona. Why do you ask me that? Do you know who he is? He's an old classmate of yours, isn't he? Yes. Also the brains of a terrorist organization. He's starting a revolution in this country. Are you serious? Here. Read this. We found it in his room. There's absolutely no doubt what he's planning. I don't believe it. It's a lie. Elaine. I know you feel. Only it doesn't change anything. He's an anarchist. He's power hungry. Marco is CIA. He's got Peter under surveillance. We've had word he's been caught. We are the Iron Angels. We've been called in to take over, and I've accepted. Oh, Peter. I don't believe you. Let her go off like that. We have to reason with her. You know how she is. She's liable to do something stupid. Let's go. Where is she? Now what do we do? We get out of here. Thought about it? There's nothing to think about. Peter, get out while you can. 
This revolution of yours is destined to fail. Peter, you must listen to reason. Your ideas won't work. No, you listen. My ideas are good. I am going to take this country out of capitalist hands. That'll be the end of Western influence. Asia for the Asians. You're mad. Mad? You think I'm mad? And if you were to take over this country, what then, Peter? The world? Are you with me or not? You leave me no choice. I am sorry. Yeah, I'll bet you're sorry. Go on, get it over. What's the matter, no guts? of yours? Major, thank you. That is all. You can go. Yes, sir. Let's go. I wish to explain... Peter! Keep your hands off of me. I was thinking we'd marry. Marry you. You're out of your mind. After the way that Margaret was killed, you mean you've got the nerve to ask me that? I just don't understand you. Nobody understands. Marco had to be executed. It was my duty. I want you to understand. I want you with us. And I don't. Why did you go and kill him? He was your friend and you killed him. I can't forget that, Peter. I can't forget that he was murdered and for what? No, he was executed. Not murdered, Elaine. I want you to join our cause. <laughs> Never. I'd rather die. Go ahead, kill me now. There's nothing else you can do. I need to think about it. I shall come back later. Hello? Hi, John. Oh, Bill, just got off the phone with the CIA. What's going on? We need some more help here. Why? What happened? Elaine's gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Elaine was following Peter, and she's gone. We believe she's been caught, and we need some help to get her out of there. I see. Where are you? Back at the Continental Hotel. Okay. You two stay put. I'll arrange for an agent I know to contact you. Her name is Karen. She knows the country, and she's well-connected with powerful people in government. Whatever you need, she can get. 
whatever you want. Yeah, I mean... You're awfully high and mighty, aren't you? <laughs> she wants to play a little. <laughs> yeah, it's double. Yeah, I'm first. Stay away. Subordinate. This woman is an enemy. Prisoner of war. All prisoners are to be treated That's harsh. enough. I'll look after her. And you, Major Cheng, pay a little more attention to training. Return to your duties. This is Peter's staging area. We'll penetrate by helicopter. It shouldn't be too hard in breaking in. Just a few hundred armed with modern weapons. But we have everything we need to make this a success. Tomorrow before dawn, we go to that area by helicopter. We enter that place and we rescue Elaine as fast as possible. But we don't have weapons. Ah, yes, we have. Karen, how much longer? Only a few minutes. Remember. On the ground, we have three hours. Where's their line? They don't want it. They have their own way. We're at the rock point. Got ahead.
You all right? I'm all right. I would have taken off, too. Now, you're such a nerd. You'll never learn. You just don't know how to handle girls. Are we united? Yes, yes, we are! Let us never forget our sacrifices. The government must fall! The government! The government! Liberate the masses! We are united! Liberation for our country! We are united! Liberty for all! We are united! Good. It is our karma to banish the infidel. Yes, we are the leader! Go, 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 go! And now let us do our duty together and go on to greater glory. We attack tomorrow. And by all that's holy, this country will soon be in our hands.
Everything? Mm-hmm. Okay. Karen, you circle around the back.
are you? You all right? I'm hit. Get out while you can. Let's go. Charge!
You too. I thought you were a friend. Like Marco? Not like Marco. <laughs> He's been executed. What about Elaine? Are you going to execute her? Not if she joined my cause. I only execute traitors. Traitors like you? You killed Marco, didn't you? And you didn't execute him. You murdered him. Just like you were going to murder Elaine. No, not Elaine. I would never kill her. You must understand. I have looked for this all my life. And I have power beyond your imagination. What you're doing is wrong for God. Give it up, Peter. You are all the same, aren't you? You feel superior. It is I who am superior. So why should I abandon my destiny? Listen, Peter. There are government troops on their way here. Get out while you can. I am not a coward. As I shall show you, we will fight, you and I, to the death. Go! Take it. 